In this video, we're going to quickly go over two recent additions to 3D Coat's Retopology toolset in 4.7. What I want to show first is the ability to separate a part of your mesh and have 3D Coat create a new layer and place that separated part on that layer all in one easy step. So in this instance, I have a retopo mesh that I want to start a cloth simulation with, but before I proceed any further, I want to actually separate this raised collar because it can cause issues during the simulation. So let's go ahead in the select tool or select mode, and I'm going to choose edges. I'll zoom in, click that one as well, hold the shift key. Now, looks like edge ring, faces, if I wanted to simply create a copy, I could choose clone, as we looked at in another video, but in this case we want to actually separate it. Now previously I would have to select the faces first, create a new layer, and then I would have to click move selected faces to current layer. That's a few extra steps and it's not very intuitive. This will do it all in one. So let's go ahead and click separate. Now if I hide this original shirt layer, you can see it is completely separated onto its own new layer now to which I can name color All right. now what if I want later on to merge these back together how would I go about doing that well again you could still do the same thing you could select these faces and use this you know merge to currently selected layer that's still there but we have another new option now much like you can inside the paint workspace or the vox tree layer panel in the sculpt workspace you can always go to the right side of the layer where you see the little move icon hold the shift key drag the move icon right over top of the original shirt layer and now they are merged together I'll hit escape to drop that gizmo that allows me just to tr make a transform if I need. I do have one small problem. With this already selected, let me use this transform gizmo, it's still physically separated even though the mesh resides on the shirt layer. So, let me hit escape twice. The first time to drop the transform tool gizmo, the second time to drop the selection. So what I want to do is use the move tool because it has a built-in welding mechanism. Let's go to vertices. All you have to do is just click on the highlighted vertex and you can just move it. Just jiggle a little bit and you can see if there's any separation. And if there is, just drag this vertex over the top of the other and it's now welded. It's just that simple. Okay, so I can see each of these are done the same way. So I'm just going to continue doing this really only have to just jiggle it and 3D Coat will weld it. Okay. So now, well, let's turn our symmetry back on. So with this layer selected, I'll choose Apply Symmetry. I can turn Symmetry off. You can see it's welded. So that's a quick look at the two new features in 3D Coats Retopology Workspace. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.